Hello YouTube, Jeff the Fifth Guy here, welcome back to a new episode of the Fiorentina career mode. This is episode 3 and right now we are on deadline day and we are looking at some new left backs. So the ones that came up that looked poten potentially good uh, were these three. So Ait Nuri. My pronunciation is probably wrong there. Bello looks good. And then Angulo looks good. So, yeah. These are just going to be backup left backs. And left backs that will go in our second team. Because as you can see there, we've got a 58 rated centre back. I mean, 58 rated left back. And we don't want that in our second team. Because our second team will mostly be used in cup matches, such as the Cup uh, Italia, if that's what it's called. So we're going to have a look at the top deals. Son has gone to Real Madrid. Bruno Fernandes to Barcelona. Thiago to Juventus. Immobile to Liverpool. Akani to Atletico Madrid. Which is good, because obviously in real life he's at PSG. Perejo's got a Bayern Munich, Pjanic's got a Real Madrid, Tar's got a City, Muller's got a City, Rashford's, oh god, we're gonna have to come up against Rashford when we play Lazio, wow, Man United would never let go of Rashford, surely, so that's quite an unrealistic, yeah that's quite unrealistic. Leon Bailey to Juventus, wow. Juventus have picked up some stars. Milik to Chelsea. Alderweireld to Man U. Rodrigo to Bayern Munich. Lindelof to Watford. Boateng to Barcelona. Konate to Monaco. Dzeko to Valencia. So I wonder who Roma's number 9 is now. Joe Gomez to West Ham. Bastos to Obviously, he's gone to the Bundesliga in real life, but he plays for Frankfurt. But in this career mode, he's gone to Leverkusen. Ginter to Leicester City. Goethe to Maglabach. Harry Winks to AC Milan. Hector Bellerin to Napoli. Sola to Spurs. Stark to Leipzig. Ake to Wolves. Right, I'm going to stop there, otherwise we'll be there all day. So we'll sim on a bit, see if we can get some information on those left backs. And you never know, we might be able to bring in some money. Uh, loan offer from Melly. Right wing. Yeah, sure thing. You can go on loan. Okay, keep on simming. Five hours remaining. We're going to stop at two hours and see if we've got any information. Three hours. 700 million spent so far. Okay. Two hours remaining of deadline day. Melly's been loaned out. Transfer offer for Pizzella. We're going to reject that because... Another Serie A team can't have him. Then let's have a look at these left backs. Have we got any information? The players recently joined this club. We can't loan him. Okay, we don't know what to offer. Uh, can't loan him. We could try and loan him. Okay. We're not going to have enough time. Yeah, there we go guys. Deadline day is finished. And we're going to be versing Genoa. There's bigger games ahead. Youth scout report. Okay, that doesn't work. Promising. That looks decent. 
eight, nearly 900 million spent. Okay, we're going to play this game against Genoa because the games right at the start of the season are crucial to our whole season. Uh, after Barnes's acquisition from us, the fans are eagerly awaiting to see him grace in the field. What do, we, what do you expect from Barnes's debut? I know that will, I know that will be good for the team. He is exactly what we need right now. Do you have the squad depth to keep up the pace? Of course we do. How would you put your previous win in the context against Genoa? The key word there is win. The lads performed admirably and I am confident they will not let the fans down. There we go, that is press conference before the Genoa game. We're going to have a look at the calendar. And okay, so in this episode what we're going to do is we're going to play against Genoa. And we're going to play against Juventus. So, I'm going to be giving you a lot more games now. Because the first two episodes have been fairly short. So... We're going to play against Genoa, and hopefully we'll win. Right guys, this is the Genoa lineup. Obviously we stole Kawame from them, so it'd be interesting to see who's replaced Kawame. Okay, some interesting players there. Sinabria and Pandev. Okay, but they're playing three at the back, so let's capitalise on that. We're playing 4-3-3. So our formation should counter this. Uh oh. Oh, good save. They definitely went for that screamer there. Get that out. Oh god. What a bad goal. That was FIFA age right there guys. I don't know what went on. It bounced off my player. So Sanabria scores. Okay, I was on the attack so you blow the whistle. Thanks for that ref. Oh, guys, it's 1-0 to them but they... Oh my god, I'm so stressed right now. It's career mode and it's acting as if it's got several server issues. When it's not even online. Kwame, get in. <clears throat> that was a lovely bit of skill. The young talent scores an absolute blinder. Skilled the defender, smacked it top corner. Beautiful goal. And that is two games, two goals for Kwame. We deserved that goal. We deserved it. I mean, Jesus Christ. That game was tragic, that was a poor performance. Mm -hmm. I think Harvey Barnes isn't ready for the starting eleven. I feel we have to drop him down to the bench, definitely. And yeah, that's what we're going to do for the match against Juventus. And we'll see how it goes. So guys, here's the post-match press conference that I accidentally pressed on. Barnes has put in a grip. No, he hasn't. It's clear to see why I bought him in. He can offer us more. Do I want more? Of course, I confident. Yeah, whatever. He didn't perform well at all. 
How satisfied are you with his performance today? Must keep momentum. At half time did you expect to get a draw from this game? I expect I'm disappointed we switched off after getting level. We'll take the draw, but ultimately we wanted the win. Well, it's true. Do you need to sort that shit out? I'm very disappointed in that performance against Genoa. The team that is in the relegation zone in real life. But obviously, they don't have Sanabria, did he? So we'll simulate to the Juventus game, here it is, we've got a monthly scouting update. Okay, he looks decent, he might be like the next Emmanuel Petit, by the looks of things. So yeah guys, uh, we're going to drop Harvey Barnes down to the bench because he did absolutely dreadful. Kevin Prince Boateng is going to be dropped to the bench. And yeah, let's get into this match against Juventus. So, guys, as you've already seen, this is our lineup, but we want to see the Juventus lineup, so we're going to go through our lineup once again. It's a 4 3 3 formation. Kevin Prince Boateng has been dropped to the bench. So is Harvey Barnes after his dreadful debut performance. And yeah, it looks like Juventus aren't playing Schnezny, they're playing Buffon. So Buffon in goal. Okay, Sandro Chiellini delicted Sergi Roberto, that's a new signing. Rabio Ramsey and Matuidi. And Cristiano Ronaldo, Dybala and Leon Bailey. That is a strong setup. That is a very good setup. If we win this match, we've done well. Kwame! Kwame! Three games, three goals for the lad. And that is why he is our starting striker, guys. What a finish. I mean, that must be one of the quickest goals ever. Got lucky off the inside of the post. Four minutes in, and that is his third goal in the Serie A. Great start for Fiorentina. Right then, 1-0 at the half-time break, guys. Uh, another pool performance. We got lucky. We've got lucky with that early goal. But that's all what's happened. Quite bad. He's onside. Kwame is not going to bottle that. And there we go, that is four goals for him in three games. Wow. We have got ourselves a wonder kid. I don't think I should be subbing off Baldelj. Seeing as though he's been really good for us. But uh, we'll give him some young talent. A chance. Good tackle. That's a great goal. Ah, <sighs> give him way too much space, but Thiago comes off the bench and scores himself. An absolute screamer. But anyway, guys, we beat Juventus 2-1. That is a very promising performance. Kwame is carrying us right now. We're going to go into the post-match interview, but Kwame really is carrying us. I mean, 
sometimes that's what it takes though. I mean, Salah carried Liverpool that one season. Ronaldo carried Real Madrid. Messi carries Barcelona a lot. How satisfied are you with Benassi? Uh, must keep momentum. With two goals to secure when Kawame was the hero today. Any thoughts? I'm very impressed with the way Kwame played together. But to what today? It was a world class performance. Were you discouraged by the last goal scored? We had it in the bag. I mean, it was a 90 minute goal and we were already two goals ahead. So we'll get the last training drills of this video in. And I think we'll be versing Atlanta to kick off the next episode. And yeah guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. If you did enjoy, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.